Oh, hey, what's up? Welcome back to my Tom Film and Project Integra. In today's video, we're gonna be going over some things that I keep in my car every day. So me being a delivery driver and all, it's important to have certain things on you at all times because at any given point in time, something could happen to your car, right? So this is why I keep everything in my car and I'm gonna go over it right now. So first off, probably my most important thing is the NOCO GB40, which is the jump starter that doesn't require an additional vehicle. You can kind of just do it with this power source right here and it starts it right up. I've done it with my mom's V6 engine, so it works just fine for four cylinders. Um, so it's always good to have this. The only downside is you gotta keep it charged. Right now it's on about, you know, like 25% or so, so I should probably charge that. Moving on, next, just keeping some cooling around because you never know when your car will overheat on the side of the road and you're gonna want something like this in your car just in case that does happen. Back when I had my automatic GS, uh, right before the motor went, or the engine, um, it just overheated all the way up because my AC fan wasn't on, it wasn't working at the time, I had to replace a relay, and um, so I had the AC on all the way from New Jersey to Maryland, and towards like Baltimore, when I got to Baltimore, the car just kept going into the red zone really fast, and I had to pull off like three times, so it wasn't the best thing in the world, and I had to get the car towed back to my house, and then the motor blew like a week later. So yeah, now I always keep cooling in my car. Next, I always keep gloves in my car. You never know when these come in handy. I um, only had to use them a couple times. Basically, they're really only for the winter. If you're, you know, stranded in somewhere and you need gloves to walk around to keep your hands warm, you always wanna have these in your car because stuff can get really cold really fast. So always good to have these on you. Next is an additional pair of shoes. These aren't the shoes that I usually keep in my car. These are the ones that I usually keep in my car. These are $20 Walmart shoes that have white paint all over them when I sprayed my car with the paint. Uh, obviously, you know, they talk a little bit. So these are also the shoes I wear to work and everybody just calls me out on my white shoes because, you know, they're covered in white paint. But they're only 20 bucks, so I don't care about them. And that's what I usually keep in the car. Um, just in case, you know, my shoes are wet or damaged or you know something happens to my nice shoes like these and um yeah that's why i have an additional pair because like i said anything can happen at any given point in time now my dad was actually the one who recommended that i get something like this in my car because he says that you know if you're stranded somewhere you know like i said in the other stuff if you're off the side of the road or it's winter time and you're you know driving around with the heat on you don't have a jacket on this is your spare jacket, so you're always gonna have something in your car just in case if you need it. And of course, you're gonna need to stay warm. So that's why I keep this in my car. I usually keep it right behind my seat to kind of keep the car looking a little clean, you know? Uh, but that's just that. Also, I keep zip ties in my car. So, zip ties, let's see how many things are held on by zip ties in my car. Uh, partially the front bumper the rear bumper, the front license plate and the rear license plate. What else? I think that's it. But zip ties will always come in handy and they break occasionally so I always have to replace them and if anybody ever needs zip ties, you know, just let me know and I'll send you some. That is everything that I keep in my car guys. So people that I would like to hear a response from from this video is Big Murph, Fred Durf, LA Tommy LA, uh, Zaj, and Doughboy's Garage. So let me hear what you guys have in your cars every day. I know you might not daily your cars, but I'm just curious to hear what you guys have in your cars. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.